do is this. Do it. Right here. See this? See this? Pull out. Do the pull. Whatever. Get me out the seat, though. Hello, my name is Councilwoman Ruby Cotton of the Fourth Ward, and we're here today at Barber Park, and we're adopting a catch basin. And I'm here along with my green team, with Martha and Miss Frances Harris, but. I came up with this idea a couple of years ago where we had a severely bad flood on the street that I live on, on 27th Street. And what I discovered was when the water became so high that one of the homeowners in the area went underneath the water to clean the catch basin. And that's when I thought about it, that we have to do something about this. And then I discovered that the city of Newark and the city of Jersey City were doing uh, adopt a catch basin. So with the partnerships that I have done and, and formed with, with uh, Rutgers University, with Patterson Smarts, with the NAJEC, um, the local environmental group, uh, with all environmental groups here, it's so important because what happens here in Patterson is that we have what we call a combined sewer system. And with that is that the rainwater and the water coming, the waste coming from your house goes into the same system. And so it's going down to the Sake Valley Sewer, which is in Newark, but it still has to be separated, it has to be cleaned before they can send it out to the ocean. So the more that we can do to um, clean up our sewer system and not let all that garbage go into the system is better for us and for the maintaining of the, of, of the wastewater. But in order to do that, I knew that we as Pattersonians, we here as the city of Patterson, that we here too have to do something to help our own community. And I said that it doesn't take much to adopt a catch basin, so we need to join forces with the city to make things better. Because I would say in the last 10 years, we have spent almost $48 million for our CSOs that we have to put in place. That's a requirement by the federal government. It's a requirement by the DEP. It's a requirement that we must, some way or another, figure out how we're going to separate our wastewater with our regular rainwater. So I came up with this idea about adopting the catch basin which the joint forces with all my other environmental group but I find is that they were on board and we want to also do more uh, rainforest and we want to try to get um, St. Luke Baptist Church with Reverend Clayton where we can conserve some of the rainwater that's coming coming down that we can be able to use some of the rainwater for for other sources that we can use in the city so this idea of adopting the catch basin we're having a kickoff here at Barber Park Barber Park as you know was a drug infested park if you can see it with all the community members that have come forth together to transform this park you will see that together as a community we can do so many good things and and we join forces with each other um, it's very difficult for one to do anything. You have to do it with partnership, and partnerships are so important that we join together to do this. But I would not have been able to do this without my partnership with the NAJEC, with my Patterson Sparks, with my Rutgers University, with the Green Team. I would not have been able to do it, and I appreciate them coming on board with me to come up with this plan so we can adopt this catch basin. So eventually we're going to show you what that means and we're going to go out and see. But now I'm going to let you hear from some of the other ones that are here with me partnershiping to have this venture. And it's, going to, it's a great venture. And you're going to see a big difference in some of the areas where we normally would see flooding, where we will, we will not see as much flooding as we have seen in the past. So. I thank you. Um, if you're doing anything, well, this is being recorded, but call me if you would like to adopt a catch basin in your area, in your community. We want to do it in all the wards, but we're just kicking it off today in my ward, our ward, the fourth ward here in the city of Patterson. Thank you, and I'm going to let you come on and bring some of my other sponsors, my other partnerships with me to help me to get this done. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sue Levine. I'm the facilitator of Patterson Smart. I work for the Great Swamp Watershed Association. We're a nonprofit environmental group that 
uh, focuses on the water quality along the Passaic River and we've been working in Patterson for quite a few years now and in particular I as the facilitator for Patterson Smart we are today at this wonderful event at Barber Park doing our very first rollout of the Adopt-a-Catch Basin uh, program. The Adopt-a-Catch Basin program is where the community can join together with the municipality as well as other local nonprofits to adopt a catch basin near their home or near their business where they can help keep the uh, storm waters and storm drains clean. In order for this program to work, what we need the Patterson residents to do is first contact through the green team or through mu the municipality. Uh, say you'd like to adopt a catch basin, identify the location, we'll ensure that it has not been covered yet, and then you'll need to complete some forms and we'll do an education program with you, most likely through at a green team meeting or at a Patterson Smart meeting. And then you can get your kit and begin. And the goal is that for one year, you monitor, clean, and maintain, at least on a monthly basis, the catch basin near your home. And this will help improve the quality of the water in Patterson, help reduce some of the flooding, and also help improve the quality of the waters on the streets and the waters that go into the Passaic River. I thank you so much and look forward to working with you on the Adopt-a-Catch Basin program. I want to say good afternoon to everyone. I'm Councilwoman Cotton here of the 4th Ward and I have with me here my green team, our green team for the City of Patterson and we're here now to um, say a few things about our green team, how we can get you involved with us. We are here at Barber Park to adopt a catch basin. We will eventually go out and show you what we mean about adopting a catch basin. But now I'm going to turn it over to one of our heads of the green team and that's Martha. Martha, please, will you say a few words for us? Good afternoon, Patterson. We're here on this beautiful day. We have a program called Adopt a Catch Basin. The city of Patterson has put together the green team with the help of Mrs. Ruby Cotton, a beautiful councilwoman, and together working with the Greater Swamp and um, other organizations that, at the top of my head right now, there's so many to say, um, we've come up with this program to adopt a catch basin. So we're also looking for volunteer for the green team. So toda la persona que están escuchando en español, el team Alberde de Patterson, estamos buscando voluntarios para que nos ayuden a limpiar a la ciudad de Patterson. También tenemos un programa hoy que es adaptar un una cuaca para tener la limpieza. Estamos aquí aplicando para ella y tenemos para los kits para darle a las personas que están interesados en este programa. Muchas gracias. Thank you. And now I'm going to have Linda say a few words. She's part of our green team too. Linda, please. Yes. Good afternoon, all. And I'm happy and, and, and ecstatic about this initiative program that's starting because, you know, every beginning has an end. And we can't wait to see the end results of this catch a basin um, okay. a program that's about to happen. So I'm a representative of the first ward. This includes all our other wards going up to the sixth, ending with the sixth ward. So first ward people, if you're listening, come out, volunteer, keep our city clean. This is what it's about, keeping our surroundings clean, keeping the pollution down, keeping the, the flooding that happens to a minimum. So we can do this together, all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Now, of course, you know I have my neighborhood assistance office here with me, and I have Nancy Greer. Nancy, please. I just want to encourage everyone to come out and keep Patterson clean. Patterson can be green if we keep it clean. Yep. Thank you, Nancy. Now I have next to me is our former Board of Ed Commissioner, Crystal Cleves, who was part of the green team. Good afternoon, everyone. Let me explain to you what a basin is. Everyone has a basin on their block. It is the drainage on the corner. It's usually right on the corner. I live on the corner of East 24th and 17th Ave. It's the drainage there that with all the trash, when it rains and it floods, it all ends up in this basin. So if we all get out and clean those basins, it will help this, the water stream flow and it alleviate a lot of the flooding that we get throughout the city of Patterson. So if we all do our part, as they all said, you know, we're here to beautify Patterson and make sure that our environment remain clean 
so that our future generation have something to look forward to. So we want everyone to come out to Barber Park today and we want you to adopt a basin. We want you to go out there, put on your rubber gloves, yeah. get your pitchforks, and let's clean these basins out so that the water stream will flow smoothly throughout the city of Patterson. Thank you. Yes, and also we have with us Pastor Ken, and Pastor Ken is part of the green team. Will you say a few words for us? Sure. We just want to encourage everyone to show up because not only the basin that we want to clean, but even around your house, pick you see something on the ground, put on some gloves, throw it away. We want a clean city because cleanliness is close to godliness, and we want to encourage you to, for our children and for the future of Patterson. Patterson is an amazing, beautiful city, and we want to make it amazing again, and that it will shine like never before, that God wants to heal this city, and we, have, we want to be part of that. Thank you. Thank you. And once again, I want to say that this is our green team. Please, I encourage you to join us. You can reach out to any one of us, that you can sign up for the green team. We can change the city of Patterson, but we can do it together. Amen. And I always say, once you do it together, you will see great, great accomplishment that's happening in this city. Hi, I'm Miles Franklin. I'm here at Barber Park in Patterson, New Jersey with New Jersey Future. Um, we are here to talk about combined sewer overflows. And um, we've got some kits behind us that community members will pick up to help clean up their local catch basins, which are essentially the grates that you see alongside of streets and what they do is when it rains really hard the rain goes downstream down the street and um, goes down the drain into the sewer system however when it become when people put trash in the streets um, the water will actually carry the trash down to the catch basins with it and a lot of times that will end up clogging the catch basin meaning that the water can't enter the sewer system and streets will flood and that's been happening a lot in recent times so we're out here to kind of educate people on how to stop that the combination of a big rainstorm and the fact that there's nowhere for the water to go creates the flooding. Absolutely. So if this was all nature, we wouldn't have that problem. But obviously we're not, you know. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mo Kimberg with New Jersey Future and the Sewage Free Streets and Rivers campaign. I'm here today in Patterson. Um, for the launch of Patterson's Adopt a Cash Basin program with the Green Team, community groups, um, residents, um, elected officials have all been here today and they're all adopting cash basins. <clears throat> so I just want, are you guys going to adopt a cash basin? Yes, we're going to adopt it. Yes. yes <laughs> and gonna. can you tell me about the Guardian Angels? That of me. The Guardian Angels, we're here in Patterson, New Jersey, patrolling the streets, making sure that everyone is safe. If we see something, we'll record it from beginning to end. We just want to make sure that everyone is safe, working together with all community groups and making sure that everyone is safe. Awesome. Yeah, and I think that, you know, we're here today because of the adopt a catch Basin program, but um, the green team and working on the environment and crime prevention are all related. So we're all working together um to do what we can to make patterson a great place because it is a great place exactly. um and so it's great to see everyone coming together around the adopt a cash basin program and all the other initiatives that folks are doing yes 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 yes, yes. Want to say something else and we're from the organization of ceasefire of patterson um our main goal is to stop next shooting we teamed up with the guardian angels and we just want to stop the gun violence in patterson ceasefire that's what we want to do as you see, the beautiful children in the background, that, that's why it's very important for the guardian angels and cease fire to be out here, to make sure that these beautiful children that are enjoying their day in the park, that they're safe. My name is Adam Palmer from the Great Swamp Watershed Association. I'm here explaining our topographic map. Um, it is a map that shows the elevation as well as the main branch of the Passaic River here. So this is the Passaic River that's flowing across this map. And by using this map, we're able to see how the different communities are connected, what the different types of water quality impacts may be. Uh, on this side of our map, we have a lot of open green space, so the water quality impacts are going to be different. You're going to have uh, pollutants from things like farms and agricultural runoff. On this side, we have more of a developed area of our land, right? Cities like Newark and Patterson, so the, the pollutions and the pollutant issues are going to be a lot different on this side. They're more focused on uh, things from runoff from the roads, so we're talking things like road salt and oil and gasoline. Um, we do have those things on this side of the river, but we see these as a more prevalent issue uh, where there's less impervious space uh, for the water to run down into the ground and to be filtered out. 
I'm Adam Palmer from the Great Swamp Watershed Association. If you'd like to get more information on our group and the things that we're doing, you can visit us at www.greatswamp.org. Okay, so we're here at Barber Park in Patterson, New Jersey. We've got a nice little barbecue going on with lots of food and lots of community members to be here and kind of talk about the combined sewer system and how they can help eliminate, you know, um, flooding and drainage issues and all that stuff with their catch basins. Yeah, there's Ruby Cotton, the mayor is here, good crowd. Hey, I'm Miles. Um, I'm here with New Jersey Future out of um, Trent, New Jersey. We're here to talk about combined sewer systems and catch basins and how community members can get involved in making sure their streets stay fl like flood free. Well, that's a blessing. First of all, thank you for coming course, to our yeah. city and try to create conscious that it's our city, it's our catch base, yeah. it's our responsibility to keep it clean. Awesome. So you put the 50 cents on it, we put the other 50 cents, and it's get clean. Yep. So thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Just do the right thing. I want to say thank you for my event today. I had adopting a catch basin, but I do want to thank my Bronze Heat for coming out and cooking for the event uh, with the barbecue. And I want to thank his president, uh, Alton Dixon. And I also want to thank um, uh, my other guy over here, Rashawn Davis. Uh, and I want to thank my um, a guy over here. I'm, I, Steve Burns. Steve Burns. <laughs> but because of them, they do so many community events. And I know they're a community-minded um, organization. They're always here helping. They're always cooking. They're always doing. So I got to say, this is absolutely wonderful. And also, he have some family members here with him, too, that came out and just to support. But I do got to say thank you to my husband who helped me kick this off, too, along with my green team, my other organization. But with my husband, Edward, he really uh, helped me put this together today. So I want to thank all you guys. Thank you so very much. I love you dearly for just thinking, caring for Ruby Cotton Councilwoman. I truly appreciate you guys. As you know, we're doing the catch base. Uh, event, which is a clean the catch base so the water can run down the drain, which helps the sewer work well, cleans the city, and makes the city look beautiful. All right, we're trying to spruce up the city, clean up the city, so everybody can know Patterson is beautiful, which it really is. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sheila Baker Gujral. I'm with ANJEC, the Association of New Jersey Environmental Commissions. We work with environmental commissions throughout the state. We do a lot of training, we work on a lot of issues, and one of the issues we work on here in Patterson, um, along with Patterson Smart, is the stormwater management issue. And we are working on um, the combined sewer overflow development of the alternatives and really trying to get the community input into the uh, solutions that they're finding to the stormwater issue. And one of the, uh, the uh, one of the issues, when, sorry, one of the solutions that we're um, encouraging is green infrastructure because green infrastructure, in addition to processing the stormwater, also has added benefits. Um, you have improved health outcomes, improved mental health. If you can walk to a green space in 10 minutes of wherever you live, um, you're probably going to be a happier person. So we're trying to increase uh, those kind of opportunities for people here in Patterson so that they can live a healthier, happier life and um, and we're here to work with environmental commissions and train them and any kind of assistance that we can provide you can contact us at our our green our website is anjec a n j e c dot org and you can reach us there any kind of questions you have if we don't know the answer we'll find out we'll find out who you need to talk to um, but we've been enjoying working with the environmental commission and the green team here in Patterson they've been doing some great work and uh, working on, on picking up Patterson and making it a more beautiful place to live. I'm Mo Kimberg with New Jersey Future and the Sewage Free Streets and Rivers campaign. And I'm here today with Liz Pishnik and I'm with the Rutgers Cooperative Extension Water Resources Program. And so I'm here today um, because the Cooperative Extension at Rutgers reaches out to all communities in New Jersey. And since we're the Water Resources Program, we focus on water resources. And Patterson has uh, very unique um, resources in terms of water. They have the beautiful Passaic River and the Great Falls that flow through the city. And um, the, the combined sewer system in Patterson is also very unique. And so the Water Resources Program 
uh, is a member of the Patterson SMART team. And the SMART team, which stands for Stormwater Management and Resource Training, um, we work on um, better ways to manage stormwater in the city and how to solve the combined sewer system issues that face the city. And so um, one of the major ways to fix issues related to combined sewer systems is to use green infrastructure. And so green infrastructure is a way to get stormwater, which is rainwater that flows over the streets and in lawns and, and off of roofs, and how to get that water back into the ground and back into the hydrologic cycle rather than going through a sewer system where it would go to a water treatment plant. When it's just rainwater, it doesn't need to go to a, a wastewater treatment plant. Um, and so, yeah, so that's what we're doing here today. And um, the Adopt a Catch Basin program is a way for residents to get involved and, and help to alleviate some of the issues that are tied in with a combined sewer system. So. By signing up to adopt a catch basin, you will help keep that catch basin clean and keep the trash out of the combined sewer system and keep it out of the waterways that are also in Patterson, keep it out of the Passaic River. The streets will be cleaner and um, it's just a great way to build community. Which, which the, the Green Street. This, this is fun. where it's at. <laughs> no, no, I mean where in the process. This is pretty much it right now because... Um, Over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah, this yeah. is it, yeah. Oh, so. this is kind of cool if you want to get a shot of this, because this mm -hmm. is where we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is Barber Park, and they're going to do a, a green street. Mm -hmm. So this whole area is going to be green infrastructure, right? Yeah, that's kind of, that's the idea to um, expand the sidewalks in different ways that promote more pedestrian use and that also um, help to reduce cars that might be speeding and then it also provides some space for green infrastructure along the street too. So tell me about this. So um, so this poster just sort of shows some of the basic differences between a green street and a regular street. So green streets would have things like green gardens and bioswales, they're bike friendly, um, there's curb bump outs which helps to calm traffic and um, it promotes more street life. So in it provides more space for pedestrians and pedestrian activities instead of focusing on cars and um, things like that. It also helps promote local businesses because there's more walking space, more relaxing space. And so on a regular street you would have stormwater runoff which might be carrying pollutants and debris like garbage into a storm drain. You have the pollution. Because of the excess amount of impervious cover and, and the lack of things like rain gardens where water can infiltrate, you end up with more frequent flooding issues and um, like I said there's also usually more pollution um, so green streets are green and complete streets are a way to promote a better environment um, a better environment ecosystems for for local like butterflies and pollinators and birds and um, yeah so they focus on everyday use instead of only driving that's another big part so it's really good for we're at Barber Park, and it's a banner day in Patterson, joining forces with our councilwoman, the first African-American female mayor in the city of Patterson, the Honorable Ruby N. Cotton. We have our green team that we created for this sole purpose of making sure that we raise awareness regarding our environment. They've done countless cleanups, and I'm proud of them and profoundly grateful for the fact that New Jersey Future is here as well. It's a total team effort. We are here because Patterson is picking up, literally and figuratively. Hi, I'm Mo Kimberg. I'm with New Jersey Future and the Sewage Free Streets and Rivers campaign. And I'm here today in Patterson um, working with community groups and the mayor. Um, green to, team. And the green team, which has been amazing to launch the Adopt a Catch Basin program. Um, we're here to raise awareness about combined sewer overflows and flooding and to get community members involved. And Patterson is doing an amazing job with their green team, with the mayor, Thank with you. the city council. We have a great, amazing uh, group of community members here today and just wanted to thank the mayor for helping make this happen. Right, right.
Thank you, Mayor. Yes, we appreciate you. Yes. you joining the team. Yes. Uh, this is Patterson yeah. Smart's big effort along with Green Team. And thank you, Councilwoman Cotton, who's been a big support on that. Okay. So, as the first, I realize today's your, your child's first yes. birthday, but today you're adopting another child. You're adopting a catch basin. So, on that note, on that note, for your second child, yes. second adoption, I'm going to hand you the kit. In order yes, for you to properly clean a catch basin, we're providing you with a grabber, a safety vest, if you would please check that out and put that on. One of the things we want to make sure when you adopt your catch basin is that you adhere to the safety rules, you're careful on the street, you will be stepping into the street, and when you're doing the cleaning, it's important that you wear the vest and ensure that you adhere to all safety with regards to picking items up. Uh, also in your kit are bags and gloves, different assort assortment of types of gloves, so we ask that you wear gloves when you touch anything. And lastly, one of the things that we want to do with the program Pay attention, Mayor, because yes, I want to make sure you get this right. <laughs> so we want to make sure that you also complete a form on the maintenance on a maintenance oh. log so that we actually can quantify the garbage that the community is doing to help make things better in Patterson. And I want to say thank you so much you, for Sue. continuing to support the green efforts at Patterson Smart and throughout Patterson. Yep. Very good. This is a proud right. moment for Patterson and a banner day for the city. Thank you. Amazing. We're going to go show everyone what it's like to clean a basin and how to do it properly. Absolutely. So I'm Miles. I'm with New Jersey Future. Hi, Miles. I'm there. Hi. I'm their intern this summer. Um, and I go to um, University of Chicago and I'm studying environmental and urban studies. And um, yeah, I think it's really important programs like this are, you know, very important because it's good, you know, for community members to come out and kind of see exactly what That's environmental right. look, issues look, look, are going on. Look at this, Miles. Right there. Exactly. What is this? Trash. What is this? <laughs> Miles, Miles, Miles. Yeah. Wait, wait, oh. Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't. Keep going. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so it's important for community members to kind of be active as well as, you know, their government in kind of cleaning up the trash that's on the streets because it's everyone's responsibility. So that's why we're out here today. Oh, got it. Got it. Talk about how the trash goes into the street. Okay. Mayor. So, um. Mayor. It's this way. Come on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there's the photo up. So this is a catch basin. This is what a catch basin Thank looks you. like. Yeah. Um, they're on the corner of every street in Patterson, as with most cities in New Jersey. Um, so what happens is that when it rains really hard, the water is meant to come down streets and then go through this catch basin into the sewer system. But a lot of times what happens is when there's trash on the street, the, the water will actually carry the trash directly to the, cat, the catch basin and either drop it into the basin or clog the catch basin, which is why you get a lot, lots of flooding in cities. So we're here trying to figure flooding. out how to clean one um, properly and dispose of stuff that's on it to make sure that let's streets don't flood. Example, yeah, Come on, let's absolutely. Go, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> The concept of is to make sure we keep it clean because sometimes we get the flooding really quick it comes but once I know that all this is cleaned up you will see how the flow of water will go down smoothly into the to the drain system that we do have into the main corridor they're going to take it down to the Save Valley sewer so that's, that's right. why we Perfect. want to keep it clean and, and make sure that the water flows quick. thank you but let's do it you grab all right green team right. And I will be using my um We're gonna have our assembly know, woman Siobhan to come up and say honor yes. member of the Patterson Green Thank Team. You. Yes. Woo! All right. Oh. Oh. We'd like to thank the city of Patterson for joining the Adopt a Catch Basin program. Um, we know this will help Patterson a lot with, you know, con containing flooding and making sure that everything goes smoothly. Yeah. All right. And I want to thank New Jersey Futures for coming in here, helping us do that. All my cool. partners that have come in with me, um, Patterson Smart, uh, the MJ, the uh, the Rutgers University, um, the Passaic Valley Sewage, they're all in there because we're all partners. We're going to work together to make sure that this gets done. And we want to show everyone that it can get done because it's community, it's us that's going to take care of our city. 
we know we live here. We can't sometimes wait for the city to do for us. We got to try to help the city to to do, and that's been so important. I want to thank New Jersey Futures. I want to thank our Councilwoman Ruby Cotton for making sure that we're uh, concerned about our environment and cleaning our catch bases. I want to thank the residents as we have a new member of the green team, Nashima from the city of Patterson from Fourth Ward. Yes, let's give it up. Let's give it up. So it's important not only that the state partners with its residents, but also that the residents feel empowered to help make the change that they're looking to see. So again, thank you. I look forward to working with you and making sure that the state supplies the resources that are needed to make it happen. I'm Assemblywoman Shivanda Sumter. Thank you, thank you Assemblywoman Sumter. Um, thank you, Ruby Cotton, Councilwoman Ruby Cotton, and the Green Team. We, you guys made this happen. So it's just a great day to see this, all the work that went into it, all the meetings. <laughs> We're here, I mean, this is just the beginning, it's not the end, but it's great to see it come to fruition and I know it'll be all good from here on out. So thank you guys, City of thank Patterson, you. making it happen. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Do you know what this is? Do you have any idea? Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's that means there is <laughs> so these are um, bueno en español, habla español. Entonces, vasitos de plástico que son en como um, a champú y cosas así en, uh, que, que se usan y son uh, uh, muy muy um, pequeña um, trocitos de plástico y no se cómo se dice no se they don't break down se no se se van a, a, a donde um, uh, se quedan en el medio ambiente entonces um, so, um, es importante uh, leer uh, las cosas que uh, como champú y uh, pasta de diente um, and, um, para asegurar que no hay uh, microbeads, microplastics. Otro. Good afternoon. This is a portion of the Patterson Green team, and we're here in Barber Park this afternoon adopting a catch basin. And a catch basin is the drainage that um, on the corner of your home, there are sewer drains, and the sewer drains is what catches all of the debris and all of the trash when we have rainstorms, snowstorms. The, the basins catch all of that debris. And we're out here asking the community to come and to adopt a basin so that if we can keep that clean, so that the water can flow, so that our sewage can get better, so that we could leave a lasting, a productive, a smelling good um, community for future generations to come. Green team members here, we all live in different wards. We've all come together to make this happen for the city of Patterson. We're here to beautify Patterson. We're here to make Patterson a better place, and we're here to leave a legacy for those generations to follow behind each one of us. This is our sitting president of the green team, and she would like to address you as well. So uh, as a green team member, something that we all do on a daily basis is clean our catch basin. Now, this program, Adopt the Catch Basin, gives us the proper equipment and the kit to be able to do it safely and get credit for what we're doing as a community. So if we all adopt the Catch Basin, which Newark and Jersey City has done, Patterson's gonna do it and way better than them because they had a lead and we're gonna make sure that every adopt Catch Basin is adopted in the city of Patterson. I represent the fifth ward and I do mine, so I'm gonna get credit now for it. And Linda here, Scott, she has the first ward. And I know residents that we are already doing our surroundings and with this catch basin, the supplies are given to you where you don't have to scramble around in the house trying to get a bag, pick, cleaning out your basin as you clean around your sidewalks, even with uh, the recycling, having a recycling can. There's all different things to help aid us keep our community clean. And this is what this is about. So like I said, it's a beginning, 
an initiative program, and we are so excited to see the end result. So please come on board, and please don't hesitate. If you need a delivery service, reach out. It will be delivered to you. Thank you. Pastor? Yes, I just want to encourage everyone to come out come and sign up for the green team. Come and help us. We could sure use your help. And if even not, that around your house, you could pick up and clean up whatever you can. We just want to make this a beautiful city that it is. We want to get, make it a reputable city. There's so much that God wants to do in this city. And we have to be part of that. We have to be the hands and feet of God to clean this city and to help your neighbors. So let's do what Jesus would do. And let's help the most needy in this city. And, and let's clean our streets. We thank you. Ms. Greer? Short and sweet. Please come out and help Patterson be clean and green. So and as Pastor said earlier, he said cleanliness is next to godliness. So Patterson, come on out. Help all want each one teach one. We're here to be of service to you. And we're, we're hoping that you all come out and adopt Catch a Basin so that we can make our city a better city and a better place to live. Okay, estamos aquí en este beautiful día esto, haciendo un programa que se llama Adaptando una Catch Basin, que es la cuaca de la esquina que se llena de agua y de basura. Este programa le, le damos a ustedes un kit para poder limpiar con todos los materiales necesarios por un año y adaptarlo. Y es una cosa que hacemos en el, no, en el común para limpiar nuestra ciudad. Ser parte del cambio limpiando a la ciudad de Patterson. Ser parte del Green Team, ser parte de Adopt the Catch Base Program. Muchas gracias. Okay, Mayor Saya, we would like to thank you for um, helping us with combined sewer overflows and raising awareness for Patterson um, and how community members can jump in and kind of help us reduce flooding in Patterson. Miles, this is a priority for us and that's why we created the Green Team and I'm proud of my Green Team. I'm proud of the fact that they've launched this event here at Barber Park which is a major, major success story in our city, right, Commissioner Greer? In the fourth ward, we're sending the right message to the community. We're going to take back our parks, and we're also going to take care of our environment. Yeah. Um, so can you, I mean, the Adopt a, Adopt a Catch Basin program is a way, great way for community members to get involved to do their part right. in um, cleaning the sewers, and we know Patterson is doing everything that you can to clean the sewers, upgrade the sewers, and you know reduce the amount of sewage overflows. And we're grateful to New Jersey Future. We really are. And our councilwoman, Ruby Cotton, the first female African-American mayor in the history of Patterson. Also appreciate the community policing unit from our Patterson Police Department. This is a total team effort. And the green team has launched countless cleanups throughout the city. And our theme is Patterson is picking up. Literally picking up. So we wanted you to come with us.